Hi guys. Okay, so I've made this video before, um, but I'll make it again because it's all part of my huge series on shortcuts and automation and uh, linking your existing planners, notebooks, templates to Apple Calendar and more, right? So this kind of falls right into it. So how, see my little 24 icon down here? When I tap on it, it opens my planner. Just like that. And I love it. It's super handy. I have another video on how if you'd like to open, um, have other multiple items to open. Whoa. I tapped on it too fast. You can watch that. That's titled Open Faves. But nope. we want Open Planner. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to my website. On my website, I have information. This is called, um, you're going to want to read the information. You're already watching the video. If you want to create the shortcut yourself, I have screenshots. So you can just follow along there while watching the video, or you can download the shortcut to your iPad. This is a pretty easy shortcut. So I would, you know, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can, and the link is below. Um, if you do decide to do that, you're going to want to head on over to settings and tap shortcuts and then allow private sharing. Okay. But this is a very easy shortcut. So I, I believe in you, you can do this. So, um, what we want to do is we're creating a shortcut to open our GoodNotes planner or one specific document in GoodNotes, but it only works in GoodNotes. Okay. I'm sorry for my, the other users that it's just not an option. So. Um, where is it? Open Planner GoodNotes. I'm actually going to, yeah. So I have information. You can read through it. Um, but before you do anything else, you're going to want to open GoodNotes and you're going to want to make sure that whatever it is that you are going to, that you want to open. So your planner, notebook, etc. You want to make sure that that's open in GoodNotes and it's open on your iPad. Okay. Then you're going to come to the shortcut and where it says open app, you're going to put in good notes. And then you're going to come on over to the right hand side of your screen, tap on apps, find good notes and find the planner or whatever it is that you wanted to open. So I have that. And when I tap on that, it does come to the bottom. So I'm going to take my finger and it's not going to, it, see how it went to the top? It's going to the top. That's just a glitch. So I'm just going to exit out and then I'm going to come back in and then I'm going to put it where it needs to go right underneath open good notes. Yours probably won't do that. It's just that I have been in shortcuts all day and shortcuts is tired. And so it's just, if it happens to you, it's no biggie. Just exit out and come back in. So now it says open GoodNotes and then you have your planner underneath it and you are done. All you have to do is come over to the little I button and click on add to home screen. You can give it an icon. I am not. I'm going to uh, give it a photo. I have all of these icons that I've added. Um, they're free on my website. If you guys want to use them, feel free. Download. They're in black and white. And there it is, open planner good notes. So then when I tap on it, it just opens the planner. And then if you wanna put it in your dock, you can do that. You just make the icons wiggle by tapping and holding on your screen and then slide it over your dock. This is actually something I always keep in my dock because um, it's essential. So I hope that this helped you and thank you for watching. Have a great day, bye.